So in this one, we have a linear function given by y equals 5x plus 6. And the question is, if x increases by 10, how much does y change? Well, notice that the slope is 5. That means the y value goes up by 5 every time x goes up 1. So if x goes up 10, the question is, what does y go up? Well, we have but to cross multiply to find out. So cross multiplying the 1, we just get the question mark. 5 times 10, we get 50. The reason is because it's linear. It goes up 5 for every 1. So if it goes up by 10, then it goes up by 50. So we'd expect y to increase by 50 because it's linear. Now, let's talk about doing this for an exponential function. Here's where things change. We have the function 200 times 2 to the x. So when x increases by 3, how does y change? Now it's not linear. N notice what's happening. It's doubling every time x goes up 1. So what's going to happen is y is going to double 3 times. So it's going to become 8 times as big. So that's the difference between exponential growth and linear growth. Linear growth told us what amount it goes up by each time. So we just had to add 5 10 times. This tells us what factor it goes up by each time. So we had to multiply by 2 3 times. This had been, if x had been increasing by 10, we would have done 2 to the 10th. So kind of a nice display of the difference between the two types of growth.